Hey everyone, welcome back to another luxury vlog. This one was quite fun to do and I hope you're gonna enjoy it. It starts off, I'm just gonna do a real quick get ready with me and share with you some of my favorite products at the moment. Then after we're gonna go out um, shopping because Dior had invited David and I out for a Dior birthday lunch with David and we also got to see the new 30 Montaigne bag. Now we actually saw it the day before it was uh, launched so we weren't allowed to buy it but and you've seen it now anyway um, but you can have some closer looks of it in this so let's go. I'm looking at myself in the camera and I'm like you look really tired at the moment. I am. Have you ever, have any of you ever had it where you get a week where you're working like seriously intensely really late into the evenings and then you cannot catch up on the sleep do you get that when you go to bed and you're still thinking about the work you were just doing and so your mind's like racing then you get to the weekend and even though you've slept throughout the night you wake up in the morning and you feel like you haven't slept at all that's what i've got today i'm gonna finish getting ready here with you i don't normally get ready sitting on the floor but i'm doing it because the bathroom's a mess and I do not have the time to be cleaning that right now just to film this. So I'm gonna finish getting ready and I'm also gonna show you a few of my favorite beauty products because that's something I don't think I've ever done. You might think that I only use one or two products but actually look at this. I've always done this. I've got this big bag that I keep next to my bed and it's full of lots of things that I use depending on how my skin is at the time and I feel like not to blow my own horn but I feel like I've got my skin routine under a really good um under under control recently and I wanted to get to a point where I didn't have to wear foundation and I, and now I'm kind of at that point over the course of time probably not everything actually a lot of what I'm going to talk to you about are things that I've spoken to you about before but I always think that's good because if something works, you keep using it, don't you? So the first thing is exfoliation. If you go and watch my first ever video on YouTube, it's so embarrassing. I look really young in it. <laughs> um, but I was showing my skincare routine. And to a degree, that routine hasn't changed, but it's evolved as I've got more knowledgeable on products and on techniques. Now, one thing that I was big into then that I still do now is exfoliation. And the way I exfoliated was with those um, mitts, you know, like the abrasive mitts you put on in the shower and you just do that with it. So I used to use those, but I realized that actually they were so abrasive that they were making my skin sore and they were making my skin dry, which was making the enlarged pores larger so I changed last year to a different technique. Well, actually I changed two years ago. So two years ago, I started having microdermabrasion, which is like the best kind of exfoliation that you can get, in my opinion. It's like professional level, you go into a salon for it and it exfoliates your face in a way that makes you look porcelain. It makes your skin look completely flawless and for, a couple of weeks after you you look immaculate and the more you have it done the better the results so i was having that done then last year this company called pmd sent me this product which is this and it's an at-home microdermabrasion tool i was kind of skeptical when i got it only because i thought well how can you replicate what they do in a salon i still use it now and actually this morning i reordered some of these things that go on the top so you're like what is that okay so this allows you to microdermabrasion at home, and I would say it is the same result that you get in a salon. So I haven't been going to a salon for it now for the last year, I got given this last summer. This was a gift, by the way. The way it works, you plug it in, you hold your skin and you glide it over the skin. It microdermabrasions at the same time as vacuuming. So it files, so it kind of, it buffs away the top layer of your skin, but it vacuums at the same time. So it like plumps your skin, it lifts out so much rubbish. It's kind of gross when you do it. These disc things are detachable. And in a set, you get a few different ones and they're different colors, which mean they're different levels of microdermabrasion. On the top, these are aluminium oxide crystals, the same as you get in a salon. When you put this on the top, and you put this top bit on and you turn it on, the disc spins, which buffs away the skin, and then the vacuum at the same time like lifts all of that 
garbage out of your skin at the same time. As with going to a salon, the things you can expect are when you first do it, your skin looks extremely smooth. This is something I do once a week, but if I've got an event that I'm going to, I have got a routine that I follow. I use this on my skin. Why? Because the vacuum plumps your skin and the plumping lasts for a couple of hours, but also it makes your skin so smooth. The Any pores you've got are so smoothed out and minimized because the vacuum sucked all of the junk out of them that if you do this before an event, your makeup looks exceptional on your skin. So I do this and I also do tooth whitening at the same time. And then I leave that to do its thing. And then I brush my teeth and my skin and my teeth look good. And that is my routine. So yeah, it's just really good for skin concerns, like tiny fine lines that like, I like get like crepey skin around here. I've also got, um, what is it called? Like a, like pigmentation. I've got a dot just there that I cover with uh, concealer. But using this over the course of time, you wanna be using it for about three to six months, in my opinion, to see really exceptional results. And you wanna be using it once a week, but it's excellent for fine lines, wrinkles, enlarged pores, pigmentation, and things like, even on uneven skin texture, as I say, around here, I kind of, at one point, the skin looked crepey and I don't have that so much now. Uh, and it's just one of those products that when I don't use it, I feel the need for it. Plus as well, after you've used that, your skin products sink in really quickly as well. The other things that I use are, I actually used this last night and I use it uh, for something it's not meant to be used for. So this is the Elizabeth Arden eight hour cream. Uh, how many of you feel like I don't like the smell of it? It smells kind of like medical animals. <laughs> I don't, tell me if you know what I mean, if you smell this, I don't like the smell of it. It's a really thick, gloopy cream that you're meant to use uh, just on like spots or something like that, or like dry patches. And it's called eight hour because within eight hours, it either gets rid of the concern or it greatly improves it. And it's kind of like a bit of a miracle wonder. But one thing that I do is if I'm really fatigued, or for example, before, like at certain times in the month, my skin looks tired. Like it looks dull and uneven and all the rest of it. And last night, cause I was so tired, I had that. So what I do is I wash and cleanse my face. I put on like my eye cream that I'll talk to you about in a second. And then I cover my face in this. You've got to tie your hair up for this because this cream doesn't dry down. It's like, it's like a balm and I put it, I put it everywhere and I sleep in it. And the next morning, my skin is so refreshed and recharged. And I, I always do this after doing this because when you use this tool, everything sinks in a lot better than if you put it on over the top. I guess it's like not exfoliating and like trying to put stuff over the top of dead skin, maybe. There we go. The other product that I use is this. Been using this since 2016. Of all places, I buy this from a lady on Etsy who makes everything. I think she makes it from home, do you know that? So everything she makes is vegan and cruelty free. The This is the eye cream. She does, predominantly, she does um, like hair oils, really good facial oils that are like anti-aging and they contain like argan and things like that. She also does, you gotta try it. She does really good argan body mousses. So if you have dry skin on your body, try this. Like I have dry skin on my body and nothing quite addresses it like her products. The other thing that I like about her body mousses are that they are, you can get unscented, but she has scented including the Victoria's Secret scent, which I love, but I can't wear because it irritates my skin. For some reason, her scents, although they're very strong, they don't irritate my skin and my skin is really sensitive. Don't know why that is. Anyway, the eye cream, if you have got dry under eyes, even if you don't have dry under eyes, if you have those tiny fine lines you get from expression, which everyone gets, like even like five-year-olds probably get it from talking and smiling, if it drives you mental, and particularly if you put on your makeup and they all show up, give this a try. For serums, I use one of two. 
This one is from Elizabeth Arden and it's called Superstart. And I feel like this is, I think this is like a probiotic serum. I think it is. Now they gave me one of these last summer and it's so good that I've bought two since then. And this is my second one. So I've had three in total. It, I can't describe what it does. It's just like silk on your skin. I use it morning and evening. And again, I find that really good for pores. Then if my skin's drier, I use this instead, which is their advanced ceramide capsules. You actually get quite a lot in a capsule. I find that you can do uh, a morning and an evening with one. Then for my favorite day and night creams, they're these. The day cream, this is cheap. You can get this from the supermarket. This is Olay Firm and Lift day cream. Then for my night cream, this stuff is incredible. This is by Givenchy and it's called Les, Les Soin Noir. I have to show you this though. Look, look at the color of it. It's black with tiny sparkles in it. How crazy is that? It's kind of, when you use it, it does leave a slight residue, like cast on your skin that's quite grey tone, but you're using it at night anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I always tie my hair up with that as well. And I feel like, I feel like there is an element of charcoal in it because it feels quite moisturizing at the same time as being quite uh, like revive, not reviving, that's the wrong word, quite like, cleansing this by the way they gave to me a couple of months ago so i'm very grateful for that it's beautiful comes in a beautiful box as well when you first get it so they are the things that i use most i'm just going to do my mascara now this mascara that i wanted to try or show you is from mark jacobs i got sent it in march and i've been using it ever since wanted to give it a proper trial before talking to you about it. And I felt the first time I used it, I thought that this was quite good. But you know, I wanted to give it like a proper run through. I actually wanna buy some more of this today because although the, you get a primer and a mascara, by the way, although the primer's still got quite, like it's still got lots to go, I feel like I've used the mascara to a point where it's drying out slightly. So that's the primer on. Now I'm just gonna do this. Did I say they gave me this? Yeah, I think I said that, they gave me it. Sometimes as a blogger, you'll know this, you get given things and I'm very grateful for when I do get given things because it lets me try things that, I, like, that are new to me. And then if they're good, I feel like I can tell you about it. But the one thing I always feel awkward about with gifted items is there is definitely, I think, even with me, actually, when I watch people, there is this thing of, do you really like it? Is that really a good product? Or are you just saying it is because you got given it? And I was thinking about this the other day and I came to the conclusion of, I'm sure there is there are, there are definite exceptions to the rule, but I can't imagine that many YouTubers say things are good when they're not, if they're not being paid. Does that make sense? I don't see what would be in it for them, particularly if the product was actual junk, because then they're gonna get caught out anyway, because people are gonna buy it and they'll be like, what are you talking about? This is terrible. But that said, um, you know, you are always gonna get this, uh, this thing of, is it really that good? And I always think the best way to demonstrate whether something's good or not is just to show you it. So this mascara makes such a big difference that I will demonstrate this now. So that is Marc Jacobs. Now I'm gonna put on my regular mascara. This is my regular mascara and this is by Rimmel. And I'm gonna do two coats just like on this side. So it's fair. The other thing I was gonna say about this is that Marc Jacobs don't claim that this mascara is waterproof, but I find it's the only mascara I have ever used that doesn't transfer under my eyes. So my skin is reasonably oily and my eyelashes are reasonably long. So when the eyelash touches the skin, I guess the oil breaks down the mascara and then I get these blotchy black dots underneath. Can, and can you see the difference is really 
like quite quite big. Look, you have to guess okay, who sung you're that in. last song. You're right, in. you've got to guess. Right, no, no. Um, can you just do the intro so we can get on with this? Yeah. Hello, everyone. Hello, my name's Vivian. Hello, hello. We were just playing a game in the car where I put on a song and I was like saying to David, can you guess what the song is? And you wouldn't even play the game. Is this it? No, that's not it. It won't go back. It was... Look, I'll tell you anyway, it was Backstreet Boys. Today, it is David's birthday. And we have been invited, or David's actually been invited by Dior. They want to take him out to a nice lunch. And I, thankfully, I got invited too. So if he got dragged along. I, did, I cannot wait for this. Anyway. So yeah, we're going to go to have lunch. Then we're going to go shopping after. There is something that is in Dior that they've managed to find that they're putting to one side. And I've got one for you and one for me. And that's not because it's meant to be matching. You might not even like it. But it's very difficult to get, and it's on hold, and I'm quite excited. They didn't manage to get that bag, by the way. Oh no, I told you you left it too long. Yeah, I know. Water. And that's the flavor of the lychee of the misty one. Oh wow! And to add a bit more perfume around your skin. Thank you. Oh, that smells good. Can you smell that? It was just okay. So we've got the famous misty or perfume, the bar jacket. There was a shoe on here as well, wasn't there? Yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. Oh, I think I had this. You know, at Sloan Street, you had one of these. It's really good. And then down here, we've so basically each cake is representative of these these cakes here. These are all of dresses, aren't they? So I think that. Oh yeah, I see. So that blue one at the top, it's like yeah, it's this one here. The blue one there, yeah. Happy birthday! Oh, that's nice. Thank you, Anne. Thank nice. you, Anne Lee. That's so nice that's of you. Nice. Thank you extra chocolates to go with your cake right who's going to go first who's going to do the David, cake David it has to be you can I have a shoe yes So David was like, oh my god, you got Christian Dior on your blazer. And Anne Lee was like, what no, does it? <laughs> it's not, it's the t-shirt, it's the t-shirt underneath. Sorry, what's that? What? What? Oh, that's sweet. I like those. I was just looking at the, this scarf. Does that come in blue? It does indeed. Let me bring it no matte handbags. I like the matte. Oh no, but you know what? There is there is still some matte stuff left, but it's not what you were thinking about. I love this colour. That's really nice. So beautiful. That's really good. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Would you wear that? I've got loads of scarves. And, and summer's coming. That's true. <laughs> this is this is summer in the UK. It's raining and cold. Yeah, you can wear scarf now. <laughs> still think even now it's a bit OTT. Here we've got some matte. And this one's matte. But no matte lady Dior. Apparently it's sold out, like everywhere, not even in Europe do they have it. So they had Sophie's bag on the, on the, on the window. What, here? They had yeah. the bag here? They had the bag here, and it was gone. 
Yeah, but if it was still in the window, she wouldn't want it. She only wants something and you can't no. get it. No, there is definitely an allure when it comes to I, how I, you can't I, get things. So when you, when you bring something... We're gonna get. We're gonna make sure one comes to Sophie. <laughs> that one's nice. That's not. Yeah, I know. It's not the same feeling. No. I think we might have the white one here. I saw the white. You saw it. Yeah. Like, is that the one there? Uh, no, this is the landscape. You're gonna. You're putting on your white glove. Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> and Lee's glove. <laughs> 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 He's gone to find it. He's gone to find his glove. <laughs> Oh, it's black today! Oh! It's white. You have to wear that glove if you buy this bag. Yeah, you, you would have... Yeah, wow. That is nice. That does look amazing. Look at that. That is actually That's really, really cool. nice. Because they've done all of this. But the uh, thing is, uh, you'd filthy that in no time. Gosh, that is nice, that is isn't lovely, it? Actually. Yeah. I think that's nicer than that one. Yeah, but you know, it's not practical. You have to get the black one, really. Do you not think? Matte white. And it's got the flap as well. You know what I do want to see? I want to see what the handle is like on this, the strap. Because normally you have the narrow strap. Oh, you still get a narrow strap with this, not a, white, a wide one. No, I was just looking at these. What do you think of these? Yeah, okay, but I've got flat feet, so it won't work with me. These are the ones that I tried oh, yeah, I like on. Those. You like those? Yes. They're actually nice in that colour. Yeah. Exactly that. That's what I thought. Yeah. They actually go with this. So you can wear them today and get away with it. With this jacket? Yeah. Go really well. Goes with your outfit. It does. Uh, yes. Actually, it might not be. Hold on, let me have a look. Yeah, it's different. The pockets are different. Definitely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's difficult to see through the screen. That's nice. Why did I get this? Is this from the new collection? Is it? It's a different shape. Is this the bar jacket? This is bar well? jacket also. Yeah. They call this one the collar slightly different. That's quite nice. And the pockets are coming out, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what do you think? What do the viewers think? See, I've got a wide foot and I think I ruined shoes. No? You don't think? I don't think so. I don't think they're beautiful. Nice. <laughs> I can't even see through the screen. So that. Oh, they're nice. Do you think they're nicer? Yeah, yeah I like them more. Because yeah, you've got loads of flats. It's true. I prefer the sneakers. Do you think? Yeah. Yeah. And they're limited edition. They're actually more comfortable. Are they, Andy? They would be which one? Limited, yeah? They're limited. Edition. Exactly. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll only be looking for them in two weeks' time. Exactly. <laughs> 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 no, I really like the sneakers on here more than the sneakers. No, they are really nice. Right, let's get the full outfit with the sneakers so you can see. Yeah, they're nice. Very nice. They actually um, match the outfit. They go with the outfit. Sorry, I need to film. Why does it keep saying that? Focus cancel. Sorry guys, this is out of focus. But this phone, I don't know. So, sorry, this camera, I can't even work it. Yeah, that's true. I'm gonna put, can I do that? Of course. I'm gonna put Anne Lee's Instagram in the below. So if you want anything from Dior, Come and see Anne me. Lee is your man. Right, Anne Lee, how much is this bag? I've got a feeling it's gonna be a lot. The fake price. You wanna know? What, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> okay, have a guess. Well, it's embroidered. I, I'm not <laughs> finding off the fake one. I really feel like that's going to be about six or seven thousand. Okay, so okay, if you think it's six, seven thousand pounds, then let's let's should I wrap it up now because it's actually lower than that. Is it? Yeah. How much is it? 
Only 4,500. 4,000 fuck. I mean, it's still a lot. That actually works with your outfit. That's you actually should get it, thing. yeah. No. I think you should buy that one. These are the latest bags from Dior and they're called 30 Montaigne, which is after the um, Paris store. Indeed. I feel like I really like the white one and that's really unusual for me because I don't normally love white bags, but these have got like, you said like a 1960s. 1960s a vibe to it, yes. It's very classic. I, what I really like is they really remind me of like, almost, almost as well like 1940s mm -hmm. vibe. And it comes in nude as well. In nude, and you have the classic oblique. Okay. Which is available. And they're coming out, they're going to be launched tomorrow. Tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And you said you've already started taking deposits. Taking deposits. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is my favourite bit along here. Yeah, this is the embossed. embossed. Mm -hmm. And then you've got a pocket down the side there. And then if I quickly show you on the inside. So Anne Lee was also saying that this strap, you can take this off and wear this as a belt. You can indeed. It's got the cushion deal there. So you can wear it as a, no, as a belt. You can use it. You can move it completely and, yep. and then use it as a bag as a clutch. Okay. You can use crossbody on the shoulder. So it's super versatile, this bag. Which do you prefer, the black or the white? I personally like the white bag because I know you probably have a lot of black bags. I do And it's hard this. to find white bags for summer. Yeah, general, it it's is. It's quite hard to find white bags. And the great thing with the logo, you see, so you turn it around. Yeah. Maybe it's still the same. It still says CD. Super chic. Oh, that's really cool. And when if you open it, you click on the eye. Yes, as well. So you've got your pocket there, like for your phone, main open section, then zip at the back. So you're gonna try the front of the mirror now? Yes, Let's please. See what it's like. The black or the white? Um, go with the white okay. one. Thank you. This, what do we think? Oh, here's a better mirror. This is really nice. What do you think? You like it? We've, we went into Chanel just now, but of course I can't film in there which is a real shame, I'd like to. They didn't actually have anything in that was new though, so there's nothing really amazing to show you anyway. We're gonna head up to their second floor, menswear, because David wants to have a look in Dior. Is it? Oh, this is it, isn't it? David wants to have a look in Dior and also then from there, I think we're gonna go downstairs and look at more of the menswear. The new menswear section at Harrods, by the way, for any of you who watch, whether you're a gent or you know a gent, or you're married to a gent, or you're going out with a gent, or whatever it is, the men's section here is amazing. It's, it now is on par with the women's section. So you walk in, it's, it's exactly like super brands for women. So you've got Dolce & Gabbana, you've got Dior there, which David's over there. And then it, it just, you've got Tom Ford. Oh my God, it goes on forever. For any guys who watch, you should check it out. Here we go, into Dior. What has David seen? No? Dior is so easy, because they just let you film. They're just like, yeah, go ahead, we love it. See, that's what I'm talking about. Do you know something? A Dior security guard just came over, and I looked at him and I was like, I'm not allowed to film, am I? And he's like, no, do you want me to help you film? I was like, oh my God, that's so nice of you. That's the difference in brands. But oh, these are the jackets, aren't they? That's quite nice. Not with denim trousers. It's mate, it's like it's a little bit Britney Spears. But um it's quite nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, with the but if you wore black trousers, yeah. that would look nice. Well, we still have what is for, but I think it'll be a bit too small. For okay. You. Oh, Fifty. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bit big, I would say. What do you think? Yeah. What do you reckon? Yeah, it's nice. I quite like it as a relaxed jacket. I think it's okay. 
I mean, okay. on the shoulders. I mean, it's a bit bigger, but it's a bit bigger. But it depends on if you're going to wear like maybe a jumper underneath it. Yeah. Or are you going to just wear a tank top? Um, probably at the times I would wear a jumper. Yeah. So if <laughs> you're nice. going to layer it, then yeah, don't go. I don't even know if we have forty four, but I'm going to. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. It's nice because it's stretchy as well. It is nice. It fits well. And see if you wear darker trousers, I don't think so. Yeah. It's nice. It's quite warm as well. You gonna get that? Yeah, are you gonna get that? You don't have to get that though, you can look round. I'll look round then. Right. Can I keep that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just finished in Dior. A white suit. It's lovely, <laughs> but I don't think it's the most practical. Right, we're just carrying on walking around now. David was like, oh, I don't know, I haven't seen any clothes I like. I think we should go to Valentino for men. Because some of their clothes at the moment are really nice. If you want something that's more like um, sports, casual. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Can we go? Like, that's too overdone, but they see that material? They do stuff in that. We did have a look in Valentino, but there was nothing there and everything in there like, had a huge logo on it, like really, really big. So we've come into this other section where if you want mid-range, like Sandro price clothing, and that's that tends to be what you prefer, isn't it? Whenever we come here, a lot of the designer stuff is quite weird, it's too much. quirky. And it goes out of date. It goes out of date, yeah, whereas this kind of stuff you prefer and David's really into his trainers and things like that. Literally dying of thirst here after all of that cake earlier. David, I don't know how you're doing that. David's like, I'm gonna have a ham and cheese crepe. Yes. Thank you. Any good? No thanks. I'm oh god I need water like and I'm gonna like put some Oh now here's what we're talking about the shoes I need a sh pair of shoes like a hole in the head. This is true. Now, you know I can't film in Chanel, so I'm going to do a bit through the window. Oh my god, literally, they are very kind of 90s-ish. Everyone's going wild for these. See this? This is that Chanel thing. Yeah, it's on the other foot. Yeah. yeah no, I don't like it. No. They'd be quite handy for around the house, wouldn't they? <laughs> I'm joking. No, you're not. That's the thing. <laughs> no, the thing is, you're not. You'd steal them. That's what I'm <laughs> Louis would shoot them. Louis would shoot them.